What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Cincinnati Outdoors and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of skull cleaning. We got uh, the javelina I shot in my last hunting video and we're going to go ahead and clean its skull. So um, if you guys don't agree with hunting or you guys think it's gross or whatever, go ahead and click out. It's your fair warning. Um, to us hunters, this is what we do. It's just part of our, our way of living. So if you guys don't agree with this, just go ahead and click out. Uh, it's you guys' fair warning. So our first thing we're going to be using, obviously, you're going to need a big pot right here some water. Um, I like using OxyClean. I've done it a couple times with it. It helps degrease the skull. And then this is um, a 40% by volume uh, liquid peroxide. So this is what's actually going to whiten the skull. We'll show you guys how to use all this. You're going to need a sharp knife. You know, I, I prefer having ones that switch the blades so when they get dull you can switch the blades. I always like carrying um, some glasses because when you're spraying sometimes it splashes back. Obviously you're going to need a pair of waders or something to protect you and a power washer. You don't need a fancy power washer. We actually found this one at a garage sale for $20 I think it was. It just it needed a couple new bands to stop some leaks but we got it all working so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first guys I'm going to be using a grill right now uh, to go ahead and start boiling the water. I got this OxyClean that comes with like a little pre-measurement cup. I'm just going to take a scoop of it. Nothing's precise here like um, super accurate or whatever so you just take a scoop throw it in there. You want to make sure you have enough water to cover the whole skull and while that starts to get to a boil we're going to go ahead and start preparing the skull. Alright guys I'm about to start cleaning the head so if you guys are a little squeamish about stuff like this or anti-hunter go ahead and click out now your last chance. So other than that let's get started. Um, right here we got the javelina head as you guys can see. They're not very big compared to wild boar or anything maybe you'll find in California or Texas. But they're still pretty cool uh, little critters right here. They got pretty long guard hairs. But pretty much your whole goal right now is to take off all the skin off the skull and as much meat as you can. So that's where your knife comes in handy. Okay, so I'm going to start split, uh, skinning the head. You guys can start anywhere. Uh, I want to start from up here. So you can just start from up here and start cutting. Just try to cut all that skin off. You know, you can just... It's, it's fairly easy once you get your hands on it to skin them. You just are going to cut along all this white stuff and then the skin actually comes off pretty easy. You guys always want to make sure your head's completely thawed out before you start boiling and everything. It won't, um, it won't cook all the way through if you do and your life will be a lot harder in the end if your head's still halfway frozen. The next step is, you know, if you miss a couple pieces, go ahead and take that off. And you're going to want to take off as much meat as you can. So, you know, if you left a little bit of the neck on, you can go ahead and cut that meat out. And usually around here, anywhere with thick pieces and also the eyeballs. So just go ahead and remove anything you don't want to have to wash off later. So, one thing you guys always want to remove also is the tongue. To do that, you just kind of cut in along the bottom of the jaw and around and it'll come out. One thing you guys want to do is along these jaws, you kind of just cut all that meat away and stuff. And then you'll be able to pop the jaw out. So after that jaw comes off, you're just going to go ahead and clean up a little bit more of the meat and everything. And it will be soon after you clean all this up, it's ready to throw in the, the pot of boiling water. All right, so the, the pot's at a rolling boil right now. Hopefully we're going to put them in. We cleaned off most of the meat and everything. But hopefully it doesn't get dark before I can finish this video because it is starting to get dark but we're gonna go ahead and start so just leave these in there on a rolling boil for about 30 minutes maybe or at least till the meat starts to come off then you're gonna power wash it clean so just got finished doing the first boil uh, we left it in for probably about 30 minutes 40 minutes and you can see all the meat starting to come off so it's ready for its first rinse we're gonna go ahead and spray it down with the power washer so this is after a good spray this is the bottom jaw you guys, you guys can see it's mostly clean now. It's going to go through another little short wash of the OxyClean mix again, but as you can see, it's fairly clean. There's just a little bit of like um, built up tissues and stuff there, but that'll come off from the final wash. This guy, I gave him a quick rinse, but he's not quite done yet. He's going to give him another rinse and he'll go right back in the pot. So we threw the skulls back into the OxyClean mix right here. They're not going to be in that long. It's just to kind of soften it up a little bit more and degrease it a little bit more so that we can rinse it and just get it completely clean or almost completely clean. And then we're going to do a 50-50 with the liquid peroxide, the 40% by volume liquid peroxide with water. And then that'll only stay in there about 10 minutes maybe, 15 at most, because if you leave anything in here boiling too long, it'll start to break down the bone. So after that, after it turns white, we're going to go ahead and rinse it again. So I'll take you guys along on the process. This is about ready to take out.
All right, guys. So these skulls, um, the skull right here. So I just finished spraying it off and cleaning it how I like it and everything. So there's a. You guys can see right there. It's fairly clean now. There's a couple little things and. Uh, I've done a couple of these skulls, but by no means am I a pro. I've just done a couple of them, so I'm still learning as I go along. Also, there's one thing I messed up on. If you guys can see this, let's see if it'll focus. Well, right here, you can see how that bone's supposed to be right there. On this side, it just chipped off a little bit, so it's not, by no means is it like a big deal, but uh, you probably won't even notice that once it's sitting on the rack or anything. But other than that, guys. Um, we got our little 50-50 mix right here with the peroxide and the water. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in there. 10 minutes maybe at most, 15, it just depends. We're going to check on it. You don't want to let it sit in there too long or the bone will start to like break away. You guys want to make sure that when you throw it in there, you kind of put it like upside down-ish to where all the water can go in the brain cavity because you want it to widen out this whole thing. So after we pull it out, we're going to give it another good rinse with the power washer. Because uh, there's like built up cartilage and real hard tissues like in the back of the neck area especially on bigger game and all that that uh, doesn't really wash off but after you go through that it'll come off real easy so we're gonna go ahead and throw it in perfect so now it's in there I'm gonna give it maybe 10 15 minutes at most it's not quite a rolling boil so might do 15 but just make sure the whole spool submerged and leave it in there I really recommend guys if you're using the power washer to wear like foot protection like these rubber boots I got on because look even the rubber boots it's just that power washer just tears them up when you miss the skull a little bit or glaze it on your boots just look at that just tears them up so while those uh, while you're waiting for the skull to whiten and stuff you can also take another chance to clean stuff up I always like to clean up a little bit so it's not a big mess at the end in between all boils maybe even get all the water out of your boot Ooh. Well, all the water out of your boot, just kind of clean up. I'm going to clean all the mess up that I've gotten. I'll, I always try to sweep up all the meat and everything that I spray off the skull because we got a dog and I don't want it eating, you know, the meat and stuff after it's been through like the OxyClean and this uh, peroxide mix. So just going to clean up real quick. All right, guys, it's about time to take them out. Here we go. It's been about 10 minutes, 11 minutes, and here they are. There's the top. Time to get out the bottom. There we go, there's the bottom jaw. Perfect, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back there with the power washer, just spray them off one quick time real quick. No need, we gotta give them a good thorough one and they'll be done, just let them sit and dry. I'm honestly pretty satisfied with it. So this is gonna be on our wall, we'll remember it forever. All the stories that were with it, fixing it, um, doing the whole, t this is almost like um, doing the whole preservation of the animal ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and keep this piece forever and I'll never forget about it. Perfecto. There, the skull's officially done. We're going to let it sit and dry in the sun. I'll show you guys a couple things about it real quick. All right, guys, we managed to get it all done uh, before the sun goes down. It's just starting to go down right now. so It's perfect. You can still see everything. So this is the skull right here. Final product, as you guys can see. Let's see if it'll focus in on the skull. There it goes. As you guys can see, it's a cool-looking skull. It's nice and clean. Everything's looking good about it. Besides that little broken piece, everything's right here. Everything's perfect. See, I forgot what side it's on. It's, you can't really notice it. This is how the jaw naturally sat on the on the javelina. As you can see, it looks nice and clean, fresh. I'm loving it. But uh, you guys can see. Look at. Listen. His jaw. His uh, tusks were actually would rub every time he'd open and close his mouth. It's pretty cool. But. This dude's pretty cool. He's going to go up. I'm probably going to hang him up next to my dad's mounted javelina just so it kind of looks cool. You know, you have like um, a real life look at it and then also the skull. It'll probably be sitting like this next to it or have his mouth open or something cool like that. So this dude's definitely a cool piece and I'm going to show you guys a couple more cool pictures of him inside.
So it's been about maybe three, four days. My family went on a little vacation. Um, but it's been probably about three or four days since we did the skull. It's still looking nice, clean, white. Nothing's really greasing up yet. Maybe in a long time future it will. I'll let you guys know. Maybe in a couple of vlogs in the future if anything happens to it. But it's still looking nice and clean. So uh, that's a little step-by-step -step tutorial on how I did my little javelina skull. Maybe there's other ways. Some people use beetles and stuff to clean their skulls. You know, um, a lot of taxidermy companies go through that way using beetles. This is just a fast way you can do it. Might just do a couple more things to it like cover it in um, a gloss or something just to kind of clean it up. But we're going to mount this dude up. We're going to make sure to show you guys that when we do it in some vlogs or something. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and comment down below if you guys want to see maybe a couple more. I might get a couple more skulls in the future. Just continue trying this. This is only, like, I think my fourth skull I've ever, I've ever done. I've done a couple coyotes and a fox. It's my first big game animal skull I've ever done was this javelina, and he looks pretty cool. I'm happy with how he turned out. Uh, like the video, go ahead and comment down below if you guys want to see a little bit more of it, and also what you guys want to see in the future because uh, fishing season's coming around, so we're going to be hitting beds hard this year. We're going to be hopefully catching some pretty nice bass in a bunch of areas around here. So we're planning on doing some traveling and maybe even some more hunting, rabbit hunting. You know, we always like throwing a couple rabbit hunts over the summer. Just a bunch of stuff like that. So other than that, um, this, this is just a cool little step-by-step -step thing on how to clean a javelina skull. Or you can use the same technique for pretty much any skull you get. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.